Hi everyone, it's Melody with Melody Pins These, bringing you the best deal on pin mail. Today's video is another video about our Disney Wonder Spring Break Vacation that we took in April. It is going to be such a fun video for you to watch and we are talking about Embarkation Day. As I walk you through this video and our fun Embarkation Day, I'm also going to share tips with you on how to have the absolute best Embarkation Day. So if you're brand new here, welcome. My name is Melody. I love making fun videos about theme parks, family, travel, pin trading, and of course, Disney. And I'm here to inspire you to do all the fun things as well. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're returning, thank you for returning. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button either way. And let's get on the Disney wonder and talk about how to have the best embarkation day. Haley, you ready to go on the cruise? Yeah. All right, so we are about to head on the Disney wonder ship. Four days of mommy daughter vacation. We're gonna have so much fun. What do you wanna do when we get on? Everything. She wants to do everything. All right, let's go. We are right on time for our embarkation. We're going to get in line here. The pier is right here. And those people are leaving the ship. They're ending the vacation while we're just starting it. Kaylee's got her scooter suitcase. We are ready to go, and we are so grateful to live 10 minutes away from the port of San Diego. At check-in, they gave Kelly a little wristband. It's like a magic band for the kids on the cruise. It's kind of cool, but you have to return it. Otherwise, they charge you for it, so you can't keep it. And now we're doing a little selfie before getting on the cruise. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> Kelly? Yeah. <gasps> Goofy's here. Thank you. Oh, Stand the Goofy. So coming from someone who's cruised many different cruise lines, this tip applies to any cruise you take, especially on the Disney Wonder, because you are paying so much for a Disney cruise. You want to maximize your time by getting on the ship as early as possible by booking the earliest port arrival time as possible. Find out the soonest time you're able to check in. Usually it's around 90 days beforehand, depending on your status and depending on what ticket type you book, that might vary. But the earliest time you're able to check in, make sure you're at a computer or on your phone checking in at that time. By getting on the ship early, you are avoiding being late, you're avoiding scrambling because you're running behind, and you are able to enjoy an extra four to five hours on the ship that you are already paying for. It gives you time to grab an extra meal. You can grab lunch right away. It gives you time to relax before the crowds get in. And really, it gives your vacation that extra little push it needs to start off on the right foot. I realize some of you are traveling from afar, so if you are flying in, try to book the earliest flight as possible or come in the night before. It is extra work and it is extra effort, but I guarantee that the earlier you get on, the better your embarkation day will be. We're at Tiana's place. I was told that every greeter has pins. Let's see if Kelly likes any of them. I knew she would choose that one. Good choice. Or let's find our pin to trade. Yeah. So we are on board right now. It is 12 18, which means we get to enjoy lunch. If you board late, you're not going to get lunch. But if you board early like us, you will be able to grab a sit down restaurant for lunch. Our first meal of the day is at Tiana's. If you come early, this is like a welcome aboard menu. Even down here, there's a welcome aboard Sunday, which we might have to partake in. I'm excited to enjoy our first meal. We are starting off with just some bread and butter. I'm gonna skip the bread because I ordered a lot of food, but Kaylee loves bread and butter, so she's starting with that. And then we ordered some Sprites for drinks. And on a Disney cruise, all soft drinks are included. Most cruise lines don't include them, so it's good to know that they include them here. That's your Sprite, yep. It's a fancy cup, huh? Fancy Sprite. And we got a little fruit bowl to start. Nice appetizer. Thank you. Kaylee's right. kids' meals here: French fries, mac and cheese, a little bit of veggies, and Mickey head ketchup, Mickey head ketchup on a Mickey head plate. Mickey ketchup. Yeah. And we've got Dussel here. Dussel is an old friend 
<laughs> he was in my last Disney Wonder Cruise and he remembered me. He's still here, still making magic here. Awesome. And I'm looking forward to the service here this time as well. Thanks, Dussel. Welcome home. Main course is here. I got the sliced roast beef sirloin and it has a double baked potato with au jus. I am not a fan of the green beans, so I probably will skip those, but everything else looks delicious. Dessert is served. This is the Welcome Aboard Sunday. It is vanilla bean ice cream with pecan caramel cupcake bites and butterscotch sauce with whipped cream. It looks like, yummy. It's like welcome And we're going to dig in. Welcome aboard, that's right. It's 129 right now. It says, our hosts are working to ensure your stateroom will be ready by 1.30 p.m. Thank you. That's in about one minute. When this, oh, this is going to be done in one minute? Yep, we're going to be the first ones on the side. We are taking advantage of it being able to live close and get on early and have basically an extra day on the cruise. Oh, and check this out. This was given to me by my friend Kathy for my birthday. And I didn't really know what it was before, but it comes in so handy. It's tr a travel thing to hold your cups. I have a water cup and I also have a tea mug that I wanted to bring. It is called Lugaroo.com. Cup Caddy by Lugaroo. That's what that is. And it is super convenient. I was able to put some of my Sprite in here that I didn't finish at lunch and bring it back to the room. All right, I want to see your cartwheel. Show, show it to the video too. Okay, I'll show it to the video too. All right, there we go. Good job, Kaylee. <laughs> I just have to act. Yes. Tip two for the best embarkation day ever is to have a carry-on bag with all of your essentials. If you are checking luggage, you will not have access to your bag for a few hours. Even when you get to your room, the luggage might not get there for another hour or two. So the carry-on bag is going to include any medications you need, your IDs, your phones, maybe a change of clothes if you want to go to the pool, maybe a water cup. And you can also bring two bottles of wine or a six pack of beer per adult on the cruise in your carry on only. You cannot bring that on your checked luggage. So if you want to enjoy some beverages and save a little bit of money, bring on your own alcohol, including up to two bottles of wine per adult or a six pack of beer per adult. All right. That is the second tip. Let's keep enjoying our embarkation day on the Disney wonder. That was quite a hike holding all our stuff. This bag is filled with all of my fish extender stuff. I will show you guys that later. Quick room tour before we get all our stuff unpacked. Well, standard inside room. We have some art here, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, it's a tiny room. And then more art here. I want to show you guys something. What do you want to show us, Kaylee? There's a secret room in here. Are you going to show us what's in here? Ooh, there's a little bathtub. And this is high tinted on. Well, not right now. I'm gonna take a shower right now. And here we go. We've got our lotions, hand soap, towels, blow dryer we need. We've got storage and life jackets. What are life jackets? So we don't go overboard as an emergency. Plenty of closet space. And but, but, but who's gonna get us? Well, we'll have to go out if there's an emergency. Hopefully, there's not going to be an emergency. So, so you're going to lay the life back to, just in case? Just in case. Just in case. That is our cozy little room here on the Disney Wonder. Ellie is just like her dad. The first thing he does when he gets into a room is unpack. What'd you put in there? I'm unpacking. You're unpacking? Your jacket, your ears, your shoes. She told me she wants to set up her stuff. I kind of like to leave my stuff in the suitcase and kind of take it up throughout the week and throughout the stay. Yeah. Kaylee and her dad are twins. They love to unpack immediately. Yeah. This is our first fish extender gift that Kaylee's helping me show off. We are participating in the family fish extender, which consists of adults and kids. Some rooms have both. This room has two adults. We're giving them a water cup to stay hydrated because you can go back and forth to refill and your- face mask. Yep, and a face mask. What and else are we giving them? One? And a, that's a foot, mask. a foot mask. They said that they like stitch, so we are giving them a stitch keychain. Right here, some stitch socks, um, stitch stickers, an adult coloring book with some colored pencils that they can color. Um, I think it's relaxing to do this stuff on vacation, so maybe they'll like it too. A cooling towel right here. Guys, I think this is kind of chocolate. Oh yeah, that's chocolate. And then this is, a, oh, I showed the keychain already. This is bracelets for pirate night that they can wear and enjoy. So Kelly's really intrigued by the gifts that we're giving, but I'm sure we will get some gifts on our own. I don't, um, and guys, I don't think this is important. What's important? 
I don't even care if I like them, but but I still want to give them to other people. Yeah, we'll give them to other people. Yeah. That's nice to share, huh? We're going to put everything in this gift bag and deliver it as soon as we get a chance. All right, let's get the first one together. And then we have, I think, four more to put together. Okay, let's do it. Mom, we'll do it. Oh, yeah. Mom, you take a video. You you put the video in of me doing it. Okay, well, put it. I'm doing the video right now. Okay. It's going. <laughs> trading board is about to go up on our door this is just one of those kraken trade pin pages that i've decided to hang up with a string i have a little magnet clip thing here i'm gonna put a sign that says take one trade one the pins here are a mix of authentic and scrappers because when i saw the pin boards last time they were almost all scrappers also some people posted photos of their boards on the doors and they were almost all scrappers as well so this is just for fun for little kids to trade or anyone who wants to trade. I do have a bigger book of authentic pins that I will be showing you as well, that I'll be trading with other guests if they have authentic pins to trade. But again, this is a take one, leave one. I'll put a sign here so people know what to do on trading at the door. I'll put a sign so people know what to do for trading here at the door. So Daddy and Millie came back to wave goodbye to us. They're by that white car wearing, there she's waving right there, she's waving. Uh, uh, green, Daddy just lifted her up. It's so hard to see, I'm zooming in as much as I can. Hi. And uh, Millie's waving on Rodney. He's wearing a green sweatshirt. So cute. All right, bye Millie. Bye Daddy, love you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's waving to her sister. There they are, Millie. See him? Yeah. You see him? Yeah. There they are, waving at us. Bon voyage. We are here at the sail away party and we are about to set sail. Uh, everyone down below us. Kelly down here. You ready to go? Yeah. And gorgeous San Diego behind us. Get tan and especially all those in the kids zone. I'm gonna see you put a hand in the air, make a fist, and let's punch it out. Let's go! The final tip I have for you on how to have the best embarkation day or best day one ever is to take some time to really orient yourself around the ship compared to where your room is. We like to do a walking tour after dinner. We walked around the ship just to figure out where some spots are, such as where the kids area is, where the theaters are, where the dining areas are. This is going to make your cruise run a lot more smoothly if you know where you are and you know where you're going throughout the trip. If you're running behind or if you're running late, you don't want to try to figure out which way to go. So having that quick little walking tour around the ship will help you figure out where you're located and how to orient yourself around the ship. On top of that, if you want to orient yourself before you get on the boat, watch my video. I made a full tour deck by deck of the entire cruise ship of the Disney Wonder. Check that out. I'll put it in the description. That wraps up all of my embarkation day tips for you to have the best first day ever. I will let you enjoy the rest of the video watching us on our Disney Wonder Cruise day one. We have officially set sail. Kelly's been asking over and over again, when are we moving? We're still in San Diego. We just got back from the sail wave party and the drill 
and we already have people trading from our board. This zero pin is new. The sky up here is new. Hold on, this Mickey pin is new. And we're gonna put on a few more new pins. Actually, I'm gonna put on these Mom. pins. Mom. I feel like the more pins I have on here, the better people will Mom. wanna trade. One second, Mom. let me get all the pins on, then we can... Okay, this is a little, little uh, Cheshire cat set. Mouse in Wonderland. I'm gonna put those on there. So we were trying to be stealth and uh, surprise this group here, but they caught us. So Kaylee, you can hand them the gift. Thank you. Happy honeymoon. Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a good trip, you guys. We'll leave you guys a note later. Oh, uh, thank you. Bye. Have fun. Bye. You too. Thank you. Yeah, she wanted to sneak it. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> This is the bag that I carried all the fish extender gifts in with. It was like super heavy and it looked really weird that I was walking in with this big blue bag, but it was for a good purpose. Hi, Kaylee. Kaylee, let's say hi. Good purpose. We have three more gifts to deliver and then um, I have a bunch of pixie dust gifts to give out as well. All right, we're going to sneak this one and uh, see if they catch us or not. Got it? Dinner at Triton's tonight, starting with a duck confit and S Cargo. I always like to order things that I cannot make at home when I'm on a cruise ship. And I'm not holding back on what I'm ordering. I'm ordering everything that catches my eye. We're getting the French onion soup next. So I ordered a soup and salad. This is the tuna. I believe it's called Nisois. So I'm gonna see how that tastes. It looks delicious. All right, my main course is lamb. Got Brussels sprouts and mashed potatoes. We've got to dig in. Kaylee's getting tired. She's waiting for her dessert to get here. And then we're gonna go home and uh, she's gonna get in the bath and then go to sleep. Right, Kaylee? No, you're not? Dessert is served, strawberry sundae and creme brulee. I'm about to dig in. Just got back to our room from dinner and they made us a towel animal. It looks like, what is it? Like a little penguin or something? It's very cute. Kaylee's bed is all made up. How did they Mommy's sleeping here. We have a little curtain, so it's almost like we have it? a separate room. How did they eat I don't know. It's cool, huh? Yeah. I want to sleep with this one. Well, the towel animal. So you can sleep with it if you want. Yeah, I'll sleep with the towel and this. Okay. So that wraps up everything we did on day one of our Disney Wonder Spring Break vacation. I am filming this outside my room because Kelly's already zonked out. She's totally asleep right now. And I am going to go in, grab a shower, and go to bed myself. We've had such a fun day and we have a full vacation ahead of us. So I look forward to creating a video each day about what we do on our Spring Break Disney Wonder Cruise. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>